John, what are you doing? Cutting copper, man. Cutting copper. <laughs> what the hell are you doing on my damn air handler? I traveled 500 miles to come help you put in an air handler. Man, I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, I'm glad to be here. Hey, here's what we're doing today. If y'all remember that snake prank video I have, um, while we were here doing that snake prank video, the um, we changed the coil on this air handler, and it is leaking again. So instead of changing the coil again, we're just going to change the air handler, put an ICP. ICP baby. Yep. Uh, put an ICP air handler in, and with aluminum coil, and get rid of this ream in coil down there. So now we're in the beginning of it, and if you look around, not a whole lot of room in here, is there, John? Not, not much. <laughs> I, I really wanted to spin the air handler, but after looking at the supply plenum, um, I think we're going to have to go back to to the way it is now. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Maybe John won't trip over that snake out there. He'd already seen it, though. <laughs> It looks real though, don't it? It does. So it does. All right. Well, we're gonna get back to work. All right, guys. You get as much video as we'd like, but what you doing, Ralph? I'm taping, man. I'm taping. Taping, <laughs> taping it up. Should come out nice though. We still gotta open the valves up. Yep. And uh, we got a vacuum going right now. Yeah. Open the valves up and. Right there. I converted Ralph. He's a temp star man. Man, now. get out of here. <laughs> we gotta we put a temp star in. Temp star, day and night, pain. Arco air. Arco air. Bryant. Yeah. <laughs> it don't matter. It's all the same on the inside. <laughs> That's it. What they say anyway. Look what the Hillmore did. Yeah, I've still gotta. Still gotta. I bent the copper. Ralph soldered it. Yeah, I soldered it. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, we gotta put some armor flex on it. Armor flex it. Uh, close the door. Close and, the door. Start her up. Well, we gotta wash the call outside. Yeah, we'll. Yeah. All right, fellas. We'll be back. We'll be back. We got another video <laughs> or two. Hey, John, I brought the uh, smart tool. Oh, I got the iConnect hooked up, man. We're good to go. What do you mean? What the hell did you bring that for? Well, because, man, I brought the iConnect. Man, I brought I, a good tool. I, I don't know if I want this iConnect on my job. Well, why not, man? We got airflow, we got humidity, we got airflow, we got the whole nine yards right here. Man. Right here on the phone. Well, I guess the guy that gets to the unit first yeah, gets man. the biggest tool. I got here first, so I went ahead and hooked up the iConnect. Man, I'm not really comfortable with it, but... Oh, come on, man. Take that spoiling back to the truck. Well, since you since you made me take the smart tool <laughs> to the truck, don't laugh. So, uh, so we got a two-ton unit here. That's right. Uh, how much airflow are we moving? We're moving at 2.03 tons. We're uh, well now 1.99 tons, close enough. 20. Well, now we're back up to two. We're moving 24,453 BTUs. So we are exactly on the mark on as tons. far as our stuff goes. Our target superheat is 9.8. We're at 9.2. Wow. It doesn't get any better than that. Wow. And then your phone rings. Well, it's a, it's a junk call anyway, oh. so we're good. So target superheat is 9.8. We're at 9.2. Target suction pressure is 117. We're at 122. So target head pressure is 345, we're at 325. What so is target head pressure? 345, we're at 325. So we're, I mean, we're even, even with the dirty outdoor coal. Even with the dirty outdoor coal, after we, after we rinse it, things will improve. Yeah, yeah. Well, cool, man. Uh, you know what, And that's John? why you rock the iConnect instead of the sport. Man, if you don't be quiet, <laughs> I'm going to get the dang snake after you.